Welcome back. It's Q&A week. Uh, this week's question, very pertinent because it's freezing outside, is from Thomas Cohen. And Tom's question is, with warm water temperatures nowhere in sight, can you explain how water temperatures dictate fly choice, predominantly streamers, and what retrieve you use for various water temperatures? Perfect question. It's two days before Thanksgiving. It's running to be about 20, 25 degrees, and it's really, really challenging out there right now, and it doesn't have to be. Uh, I want to go over a couple things. First of all, first and foremost, there's two different cold waters. There's a cold water in the fall, which is when it just starts getting cold, like right now, you know, somewhere in that 40, 45, 50 degrees. But there's a big difference between that and has sustained uh, spring cold, where it's been cold for like five months. I'm going to go through the first one, fall, because that's the first one we're on. But in the spring, I'm a little different on my fly selections, and I'm a little different on my retrieves. But in the fall, it's still, the water temps can be identical, but they haven't been that way for a long time. So first and foremost, in the fall, what I do is I'm going to go through my fly selection first, all right? In the fall, it's almost like it is in the summer. I'm going to go through my fly selection, which always starts with a dark day, dark fly, bright day, bright fly. So for the sake of argument today, it's a bright day. Uh, bright day fly, I'm going to start white, go black. I always do 100% contrast, you know, 180. So I'm going from white to black to tan to olive to yellow to chartreuse and so forth. I go through my rotations very quickly. That's important to know. I never die with a fly. I don't care how good it was yesterday. Today's a different day. So I start my rotation. I seldom go more than five minutes on a fly selection. So that stays the same. But the water temperatures in the fall, say anything 50 and below is when you start thinking about maybe I have to change things up. But again, fall is pre-spawn or spawn, so you've got aggressive fish, you've got aggressive behaviors, so you've got to be aware of that first. But let's just say everything's going, it's cold, everything's out there, you know, you're, you're getting past the spawn thing, and you're, what am I going to do? First thing I do is I go through my rotation. And then I start, so I go through the fly selection, I always start fast. I love fishing flies fast. And when I say fast, I'm going to just do a jerk strip retrieve. I'm going to keep the fly running back. I go through that rotation very quickly. If I don't see any movement and I know they should be there, then I start thinking, okay, now i got to change something up. A lot of people think all we do is jerk strip and go really fast their flies. Nothing could be further from the truth, especially in the fall. I tend to do a modified jerk strip vertical jig retrieve where I kind of jig the rod a little bit. I slow the fly. I'm still kind of jerk stripping off to keep the fly doing this stuff, but I try to start making it do more of this where it's doing a, a strange, you know, kind of a jerk a vertical jig like this, but also a little of this. So it's kind of an off shoulder vertical jig, vertical jig jerk strip. That's a lot for a guy with a room temperature IQ. And I tend to go, after I do that, so I'm starting to slow the fly. I start fast, start with the jerk strip, and I go like, you know, moving the fly very quickly. Then I go into the slow down retrieves. And that is a combination vertical jig jerk strip where I get the flies doing a little bit more of this. And when I do that, a lot of times I'm going to start looking for flies a little bit more on the muted colors, like a, a peanut envy like this, and maybe browns and olives. I always start with the bright. And then I go, well, not all. I start either one or the other, and I go through rotation. But then as, as I start to do these vertical jigs, I tend to start looking for more flies that are bait fishy. Like, for example, here's two of them. This is a brighter, this is a barely, conehead barely legal. This is a laser legal. It's the same fly, just scaled down. It's got uh, Greg Senio's laser dub on the top, and it's a little more thinner profile. I start losing the really bright stuff and the really gaudy stuff like this. And when I start to do my vertical jig uh, combo where I'm slowing them down, and I just kind of, not exclusively, don't make any hard, fast rules, but I tend to go just a little bit more muted and a little bit finer bait fishy style where it's just a little bit less effort. If the fish are running, like I said, I always start fast. I just dig it when they're chasing. Johnny had a day last winter where it was, I don't know what the water temp, 40, 42. He was out, floated from here down, and, and it, we're up high. We're at 6,000 feet, 
and he started out fast, and those fish were running four, five, six feet to get the, the fly. It was an incredible day. You go back the next day, won't be the same. They may not be as chasey, but I love to watch those fish chase, so I start fast and I slow it down. So, go start through your rotation, go through it very quickly, no more than five minutes, figure out if they're eating it, Watch your fly. See if it's on a pause. If you just missed or something and something comes up, it'll start, they'll be telltales. They'll tell you why they want the fly a certain speed. Slow it down after you've been through your rotation. Okay, jump fast forward. Now we're in spring. It's been cold all winter. Now the fish have been set up. They're cold. They've been, they're cold, cold blooded animals. So they're down there doing nothing, right? Trying to conserve energy. Now it's coming into the spring and water temperatures are starting to go from cold to warm. And this is when I start, again, always go through my rotation. I will always start fast, but once that, once if you figured out, okay, that's not working, if it's working, stick with it. <laughs> if it's not, now I'm going to go into almost exclusively into a vertical jig style. And this style is when you pick the fly up and you let it drop back down. I'll tell you that 90% of your, maybe more. 90% of your fish are going to eat it on the drop, and that's a telltale. That tells you that they're, on a, they're slowed down. If they're eating it on the pickup, you might as well just start fishing the fly fast again, because it's telling you that they're warm enough to chase. Most of the time, it's a vertical jig. It's in the spring. Waters are cold, 40, 45, under 50, and, I, and the fish aren't willing to run. And so I start to do this vertical jig where I go like this. You lift your rod up, and then you strip the excess, and you're trying to let the fly go up and then drop without you impeding the drop. So don't pop it in the air and then have all this free line and then just kind of guess or hold it and so it doesn't drop. You're trying for this rhythmic thing where it goes like that. A vertical jig in the spring is an absolute must. I tend towards a little darker flies, uh, Nancy Peas, like crayfish stuff. Uh, thinner bait fish flies, maybe even a little darker. I tend not to have the really super bright stuff like a pearl necklace or something really super flashy until I start getting into the high 40s and then it'll be, that's when things change. So as a recap, start in the fall, start fast. See if it, if, if you, you know, if you can get the fish to chase. If they won't chase, then start, do a modified. Just kind of get it so it's not really kicking. You pick your rod up, strip the excess, jerk it, get some you know, erratic movement but not super fast. Don't make them really fight for it. And then in the spring, now we're going to start slowing it down. We're going to do a little bit more vertical jig. Always throughout the day, throw in the faster retrieves. All right, so remember on the Q&A, we're going to, if we use your question, we send you a hat and a box of flies. I hope that helps you out.